Americans continue to stockpile food from the grocery store. Meat prices are in turmoil. KCTV 5's Nathan Vickers explains how that uncertainty is impacting both ranchers and your dinner. For ranchers like Matt Moreland, Come on. farming is more of a lifestyle than a job. You're out and about and you run into a farmer. You need to, you need to thank him for doing his job because it's, it's a hard time right now to be a farmer. Cattle prices have been falling steadily since fears of the coronavirus began. It's a challenge because our workload doesn't change. Um, it would be like going to your job every day and then all of a sudden your paycheck is just 30% less. But visiting the grocery store, you'd never know farmers were struggling. Chicken and beef seem to leave the shelves rapidly, and it's not getting any cheaper. Don't think whenever hamburger goes up that, that farmers are getting rich. You might think that higher prices at the grocery store would translate into higher profits for farmers, but right now, that's just not the case. Suggesting that product mix between food service and retail has been a challenge. Matt Teagarden is the CEO of the Kansas Livestock Association. He says part of the problem is that schools and restaurants closing down has disrupted food supply chains. Once some of these supply chain logistics get sorted out, we're going to have product in the grocery store for, for consumers to purchase and cook at home. But a big part of the difference between what ranchers make and what hamburger costs has to do with meat packers. Right now, those companies are making record profits, as much as five to six hundred dollars per animal. And that's why we've asked the USDA to take a, a very close look at uh, at those numbers to to investigate, see if there's any wrongdoing, any anti-competitive activity there, anything illegal. It's very frustrating as a producer. No matter the price, Moreland will keep feeding his cows, hoping the disruption will come to an end. We hope that this thing gets better. We hope that the that we get this the coronavirus under wraps, under control, and that the market turns around. In Harrisonville, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.